Yes. Yes. It's my second cast. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Duke's Outfitters where today we are doing a little catch and cook. I'm keeping this guy and I got one that I kept from yesterday and uh, I'm gonna keep fishing here for a little bit, show you guys a couple things, show you guys how to catch a trout like this on the worm and then we're gonna cook this bad boy for dinner. So fun. So before we go to the kitchen, I wanted to go over how I'm catching these trout with you guys. Uh, just wanted to do that real quick in case y'all are curious on how I'm doing it or if you don't know how to catch trout and you're interested in doing it, this is like one of the easiest ways. So all I've done, ooh, all I've done is put one little split shot. I don't know how heavy it is. I think it's probably like an eighth of an ounce. And then I use one, oof, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. One little hook, I'll get you guys the size and the, uh, I know Eagle Claw makes it. Let's see, here it is. So it's a size 10 bait holder. And the bait holder is important. It's not necessary, but it is important because it has these little barbs on the back of the hook here that helps hold your worm on. So, once you get this all set up, you've got your hook, you've got your sinker. Get an earthworm, pinch them in half. So you don't need the whole thing. And if you're a bass fisherman, then you're basically just wacky rigging it. And if you don't know what that means, you're basically just hooking it through the middle and trying to get enough of the meat on like the shank of the hook so that it'll stay on there. Sometimes these trout will hit the arms of the, of the worm. And if it's, not, um, if it's not secured, if the hook is not secured into the worm correctly, they can just like rip it off. So these worms, they are alive, so they kind of like to fight. And that's how you do it. So straight through the middle, with just a little hook, straight through the middle like that. Okay, so the coals are pretty hot. We're gonna go ahead and put these fish on. Now I already know they are not gonna fit completely on this grill. So we're gonna have to let their little tail stick out a little bit. But that's okay. We just won't eat that part. Or it's probably not edible anyways, it's just the tail. So every time we've taken trout home and cooked it, it's always tasted really, really awful like fish. Uh, and I know that's kind of funny to say because it is fish, but I mean, just like that slimy, nasty, like yucky fish taste. So uh, Jeremy taught us this new method where you remove the gills, the tongue, and the guts before you do anything. That's like the very first thing you do when you catch the fish. And that's supposed to help keep the oils and stuff like that from the, like from the tongue, the gills, and the guts from getting into the meat and on the meat um, while they're sitting in your cooler waiting for you to clean. So the way you can tell whether or not a trout is done cooking, oh, and that's a sure sign, is when the skin here, 
lifts up and off of the uh, off the meat. So this way you can just eat the meat, eat around the bones, which we did not remove, and just eat off of the skin. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not good. Not bad. Not like the best thing I've ever had, but not the worst chart you ever had, though, right? Yeah. I think we need more seasoning. Yeah, more seasonings probably. All right, it's my turn. It's good. It's much better than we've had before. It's definitely like I can definitely eat it and I'm happy. I'm not, you know, no problem. It doesn't taste like fishy fish, like fish slime, but could use just a hair more seasoning. For or sure. maybe like um, some of that For stuff that you dip in. Ooh, or a glaze. A glaze would be good. Or if you're going to cook it this way and you're like doing the campfire thing, maybe bring some of that, uh, like that Creole seasoning that you dip like a uh, crawfish into. Ooh, that would be also lemon. really good. Or some lemon. Also, yeah, lemon. We didn't have any lemons. We're kind of far out here. Uh, didn't have any at the store nearby. So we uh, didn't put the lemons in there. But yeah, it's pretty good. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. Well, we're going to go ahead and eat, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go and subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, please go and press the, uh, the like button down below. It really helps out with uh, growing my channel and just uh, getting interaction with my videos. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you guys next time on another episode of Duke's Outfitters.